We'll now bring in Washington head football coach Terry Ray to the program. Coach Ray, a uh, tough loss for your team last week against Martinsburg, but you did show uh, some good things throughout the game, even though the final score doesn't really reflect that. What were your takeaways? Uh, we did some good things right. Uh, we did some things wrong. Uh, we, we learned definitely a lot about our football team. We played all four quarters. Uh, we didn't take advantage of opportunities when we had a presented to us. And defensively, we need to get off the field on third down. Uh, we can't let good football teams be on the field and extending drives. Kind of talked about this a few weeks ago going into this stretch uh, of Spring Mills. Martinsburg for your schedule that it's going to be a uh, measuring stick looking back at it now how do you feel like you measure up uh, overall uh, I thought we had a lot of good stuff that happened in that three-week span uh, then we had stuff that we need to improve on uh, we're, we're gonna get better uh, we, we the kids actually got to experience now in a three-week span what it takes to be in the top three or four in the state and the stuff that we're going to have to get better at in order to compete with football teams like Martinsburg and Spring Mills. Where are some areas that you feel like you need to improve to get to that point? Uh, we have some communication issues still here and there on defense, but, I mean, we are – we are young on both sides of the ball. Our offensive line still needs to improve on communicating, on picking up blitzes, and when not to slide on or uh, pass protection. Uh, I saw a lot of good stuff that happened in that three-week span. And, again, like I said, I saw a lot of stuff that we're, we're just maturing as a football team and we're learning as we go. Since we just mentioned some of the things that you guys can still potentially improve on, what are some of the specific things that you saw that you liked? I definitely liked our aggressiveness still on defense. Uh, we were still getting to the quarterback each game. Uh, we, we were still running to the football. We need to work a little bit on our man-to-man, -man, but we're aggressive, so sometimes we're going to give up the big play. Uh, offensively, our, our run game still looks pretty solid, and, and our, both our quarterbacks are progressing well. I think we're using both of them and uh, their attributes the best we possibly can. Coach, you mentioned the blitz. We've talked about it, I think, before and your ability to get after the quarterback. Uh, how or what are you, I guess, seeing from your team in terms of uh, that ability and how that's improved from last year or this year? Uh, we're really good at communicating and making sure we're hitting our assignments. Uh, we still we still sometimes miss gaps here and there on miscommunications with our blitzes. But our kids just overall with the, the studying of the film and understanding each rep and taking away each gap defensively is what's gotten us better. Our communication and our kids just flying around and having that attitude that we're an aggressive defense and we have to go after teams. Go trade this week for you guys. You get to take on Hampshire. Uh, what have you seen from them so far? Uh, Coach Evans is doing a pretty good job up there at Hampshire. Uh, they have a solid running back. Their quarterback is mobile. Uh, they have a few good receivers. Defensively, they, they show multiple front. They're even sometimes. They're odd. Uh, they, they won five football games. Uh, we, we need to pay attention, do our homework, and be ready to play on Friday night. You mentioned the improvements that Hampshire's made this year. You've seen them... Uh, for a while now, I would I would presume Berkeley Springs usually plays them a lot, so I'm guessing that they played when you got, were the coach there as well. So what do you think is kind of different about this year's Hampshire team compared to the past? Because like you said, five-win season, and that's a program that's really struggled. Uh, they're definitely balanced on offense. They're, they're almost 50-50 when it comes to run pass. Uh, defensively, they, they kind of look the same, but like I said, now they're multiple. Last year they just sat in a forefront. This year they've gone odd and even. What's your guys' uh, approach uh, for this week? Uh, What's well, our last home game? It's senior night. We want to try to send the seniors off with a win. Uh, we're focused. Uh, we keep working. We're not looking past anything. we got to take it one week at a time. Uh, we're, we're hoping to show up and play football on Friday and get a win for the seniors. Coach, you mentioned it's senior night. What has what this senior class really meant to your program? 
uh, the senior class this year has meant a lot. Uh, they, they bought in. It's our second year. They've been pushing the guys. Uh, hopefully that the, some of the traditions that we're trying to instill here get carried on, and the senior class was one of the ones that pushed it. What's the game plan entering uh, Friday night? What do you feel like you guys need to do to get the win against Hampshire? We definitely need to, to protect the football and win the turnovers. Uh, defensively, we can't give up big plays. They, they might gash us. Uh, they like uh, running some trick plays here and there. Offensively, we need to take what they give us and be consistent in our run game. All right, Coach. We'll uh, get to the fun question this week. Our fun question this week is, if you were a rapper or a musical artist, what would be your rap slash stage name? Uh, T-Ray, Trey. Just use my initials. All right. Fair enough. Thank you, Coach Ray. I appreciate it, guys.